The K-20 Center is an extraordinary place where higher ed is able to collaborate with teachers, with school leaders, with parents, with the larger community, all focused on the idea of success. The K-20 Center's philosophy is focused on increasing student success, and student success can be measured any number of different ways. One view might be increasing conversations with leaders. Another might be better integration of technology. Another focus might include teachers who are able to collaborate on a deep level to achieve that success that is then accomplished through a multiple phase model. Phase one is for the leaders to come together to learn from us and learn from each other how to make changes in their schools to implement the 10 practices for high achieving schools. I was very impressed going through leadership um, and I really got, it made me think about how important technology was and how through the, through the K-20 Center we had an opportunity to make drastic changes in our school. In phase two, whole schools look at the 10 practices for high achieving schools, pick three practices, look at how technology can facilitate the changes to improve those t uh, three practices in their own school. And our research has shown that that technology is something that really hooks the students. It gets them involved, it gets them engaged in their learning, they're paying attention, so they're able then to retain the information and make those connections with the content that they're learning in the classroom. We went from having no technology to now we're using smart boards all day long. Everything that I have learned on the smart board and in teaching with the smart board has been a result of the training we've received from the K-20 Center. Smart boards are just the biggest self-esteem builder that there's been in my classroom. They feel so powerful when they use them and things happen with the touch of a finger, it's just like magic for them. In just one year of having implemented the technology, our before test scores, in first grade we had a 1.5 increase to a 2.0 grade equivalent. In second grade, we saw an increase from a 2.5 to a 3.0. Can you see, did you see it? It's a worm. Can we turn it? And the K-20 has done all of their staff development this year and it's built a much more cohesive faculty and a faculty that's excited about learning. And they've put their technology to very good use. Uh -huh. Yeah, just one of the little beakers. But whenever we got the grant and got the technology, the technology was great, but I was really, amazed at how the shared values, shared leadership, authentic teaching, how we really made that evolve and really made a strong uh, teamwork within the school. And if I walked away with one thing that I said was the most important thing, collaboration with my peers probably would be it. We are in phase three. Uh, this past school year we've been working on the science initiative, the Science PDI. Then we work to find other projects working with their teachers in depth in the STEM areas science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. As the students are still really interested in those STEM content areas, then they can move into the university, they can continue work and learning there, and then we'll be able to go out into those types of fields. We take out the book and we tell kids, this is what's been done in science, look what we know about science, but they don't really know science until they do science. And I think the staff at the K-20 has helped me make sure that my students do science. Having the center come in and just open up my world to, you know, college is available. You can come study computer science or engineering or whatever you want to do. It made me realize, you know, there are alternatives to what you want to do. Um, just makes it all the better. That's color. In our science lesson today, the students will be investigating how the properties of a liquid change when water is added to it. They will get to first observe the liquid when the water is added and write and talk about that. Then they're going to shake the liquid and the water together and then talk about the difference. And then we're going to leave them overnight. And then tomorrow we will go back and look at the differences. They have a, a much bigger knowledge of science because of that and because of our, maybe I think maybe we have a bigger knowledge of science and how to, to best use it for our classroom. The digital game-based learning environment which we have created is based on giving students who are digital natives an opportunity to go into a space which they're comfortable with. At the same time, we're trying to build a bridge to those digital immigrants 
who are their teachers who ha grew up before this was a commonplace and show them that they are addressing those learning standards which the teachers are responsible for. The K-20 Center is really here to support the schools throughout the long haul. I think all of our phases never stop. I mean, they're ongoing. For the better part of two years, I've been in contact with them probably every month or every couple of months, and that makes a lasting impression when you have an ongoing relationship. The beauty of the K-20 Center is the focus on innovation. How do you have conversations with principals, with teachers, with students to prepare them for jobs that don't even currently exist? That's the strength of this center, is being able to structure a whole-scale, multi-phase model that allows them to be successful, whatever that future may be. 